to number eight, home stretch. Let's establish a care plan for your pets. Um, those of you know that I have a rescue, a rescue dog, his name is Doc, and you knew that I was gonna say something about the care of your pets. Um, I am an avid dog lover. So to complete, uh, to, I should say to provide complete protection for your fur or feathered baby in the event of your incapacitation or death, consider a pet trust. Now, you might be thinking that having a trust for your pet is unnecessary. Um, for your human loved ones, we'll certainly take care of them on your behalf. Now, while your friends and family members may be okay with looking after your four-legged or two-legged friend during your week-long vacation, they might not be willing or able, financially able, to step in you, into your shoes uh, doing this job full time, you know, because those of us who have pets in our family, um, they are like family and they're like children and they're almost as expensive uh, uh, as kids. So keep, you know, keep that in mind. And that's one of the reasons why a pet trust is something that you might want to consider. With a pet trust, you can leave money to be used for the benefit of your pet, including their care and maintenance. Another major advantage of a pet trust is that it creates a legal obligation to care for your pet. In that trust document, you're gonna name a designated caretaker for your pet. Leave detailed instructions for how their care and maintenance should be carried out. And name an individual to go to court to enforce the terms of the trust if necessary. If the court finds that the caretaker failed to follow the conditions laid out in this trust, or maybe use the trust money for something unrelated to your pet, the funds will go back, will go back to the pet owner's estate, and the guilty individuals can face serious legal consequences, right? And yet another advantage of a pet trust. And then finally, drum roll, please.